Feels weird not having any glasses. Tina, I'm Ludwig Nienbach, and it's time for another video. First time here, go hit that subscribe button. So, lately I've been flying my drone more than usual, and I would like to share with you some, some tips and tricks that you can use while flying, but also the things you can do in post to give you your drone footage just that little extra touch. When I first bought my drone, the first thing I thought was, wow, I'm gonna fly so high with this. I'm gonna capture so many cool shots. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Even though it sometimes can look and feel really cool flying that high up, it's not always the best way to use your drone. Try to mix up your, your footage, your drone footage, your, your flying techniques. Try to mix it up as much as you can. And sometimes even flying like really low uh, can be a better option. Go through some trees and I, I've started doing that more late. Not just going above the trees, you just go between the trees and you'll get a whole nother atmosphere, a whole nother feeling by doing that. Sometimes I use my drone footage more as a transition uh, to show that I'm moving places. When we were in Norway, I, I wish I did use my drone more than I did, uh, so I had more options. When I edit that video, uh, I'll, leave a, I'll leave the video right up here somewhere, maybe? I use most of the footage uh, that I got as a transition to show us go from one place to another. Drone footage is often like good transition to show what's going on and where, like, where are we, what are we doing. And that kind of leads me into the next tip. Use your drone footage as a, create a tension in the video. As I said, let the viewer guess where we're going, what are we doing, where, like, what's going on now. What happening? I also have some few editing tips, just small effects that you can use to just give your drone footage just that little extra. The first one is speed ramping. And I'm gonna admit, drone footage can be really capturing and cool to look at. No one wants to look at a clip that's like 60 seconds long, just you flying from A to B. That's when the speed ramp comes in. Just take the first few seconds in the beginning of the clip, put a, a keyframe right there, go to the end, take the last three to four seconds, maybe five, depends on the footage, put a keyframe right there and just speed up the middle. Uh, I usually go like maybe 2000, uh, it's a good start, but it depends on the video and depends on the clip that you have. I've started to use more and more audio effects while I'm editing my day-to-day -day, uh, clips. And drones are not built to capture audio for a reason. All you would hear is just gonna be the, the propeller or the motor sound. There's a reason for it. That doesn't mean that you can't edit it in yourself and put some ambient sound to it. There's plenty of websites and places that you can find cool sound effects to just put in the background and just play around with the, with the audio and the volume to make it sound good. Often when I am add uh, sound effects to my drone footage, I use some sort of ambient sound, like water, wind, uh, some forest sound, birds, and I even add, I even have a drone sound that I add in, just to give like the atmospheric feeling. Sometimes when you put your footage in your software and start editing, you notice that you're not as a good drone pilot as you think you are. You didn't frame the, the thing right, you did something wrong, it was wonky. There's people in the frame that you don't really want to be there and it feels like you're showing too much. Then cropping and reframing is a perfect tool to use to just get rid of that and make the, the footage a little more appealing. The last thing on my list and probably the one the thing I've been using the most lately, like I've been using it a lot in my videos for the past month. It's a zoom effect or a vertigo effect if you want to call it that. You put a keyframe in the beginning of the clip, you zoom it in and then you put another keyframe in the end and you zoom it back out and gives this warping, just trippy effect to, to the video or to the clip. Most people use it when they like flying forward, you get that warp effect a little bit. But I like to use it when I do a crane movement with the drone, I just lift it up and it just feels like it's revealing the, the landscape and the view and everything. So it's, I like to use it that way. Play around with it and do what you 
do what feels best. That's what I have for this video. Let me know what you think and if you use some special tr tips or tricks uh, while flying drones. Don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so I can see you in the next video. Hold up. When I first bought my drone, my first thought was, my drone? So lately I've been flying my drone.